still winter, even if it doesn't quite feel like mm -hmm. it with the temperatures, right? But if you live in the city, maybe time to think summer job. Absolutely. The City Summer Jobs Program is for city residents ages 14 to 24. And joining us on this Monday morning to fill us in on how it all works is the Commissioner of the Department of Youth and Community Development, Mr. Keith Howard. Welcome. Thank you. Thank Good you. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for being with us. No problem. So obviously parents out there love the idea of keeping their kids active, especially <laughs> with a summer job. That's so how right. does it all work? What's the website? What's the application process? So 100,000 jobs mm -hmm. for the summer. Um, it was an investment by Eric, uh, Mayor Eric Adams. Mm -hmm. You know, we started off with 75,000. Uh, and now uh, from last year until this year, mm -hmm. it's 100,000 uh, 100, young people to participate in summer youth employment. That's fantastic. So kind of walk us through what kind of jobs and employment is available. With Amazing jobs, yeah. right? Anywhere from, you know, media and entertainment, okay. you know, hotel, um, uh, public service mm -hmm. okay. also as well. We have our largest investment in city agencies last year, 9,000 participants. Wow. Huh. 813 of those were working with NYPD. Yeah. Wow. And just imagine the type of uh, programs with walking in the door, mm -hmm. walking, uh, working side by side with a police officer and understanding exactly the relationships. Mm -hmm. Right. That's great that it spans so many different industries. To that point, who supplies these jobs and how? What, what's the screening process like? So we have amazing community partners mm -hmm. from JetBlue to Microsoft. Mm -hmm. You know, some big name uh, employers that mm -hmm. participate uh, in the whole process. You know, I know a lot of teenagers right now may be watching saying, okay, what's the pay? You know, mm -hmm. I gotta save yep. some money. <laughs> so what's the pay for some of these jobs? Well, you know, the pay is $15 an hour. Okay, very yeah. good. And who is supplying that money? Is it coming out of the city budget? It is definitely all city tax levy money. Okay. All yeah. right. So what, what is the vetting process? What's the criteria? Well, you know, uh, we, what we do is we have two processes. Mm -hmm. We have a lottery process, mm -hmm. and then we have those who are in our special initiative who live in NYCHA, uh, yeah. public housing, okay. uh, justice involved youth, or foster home. Mm -hmm. um, they actually do not have to participate in the lottery process. So um, did you increase the number this year to over 100,000 because of the demand last year? So last year, what did you say, was 75,000? How many? No, no, no. Uh, prior to Mayor Adams, it was 75,000. Oh, gotcha. Okay. He increased it to 100,000. So how many applicants do you know of, did you have last year? Um, and how many actually got jobs? So uh, we typically run about uh, 169,000 applications. Wow, OK. Um, so if you do the math, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, we, we're, we're looking at anywhere between 69,000 69, young people yeah. who weren't able to get uh, employed but we hope that they had volunteer experience. Mm -hmm. Right. To that point, obviously, there's a good bit of opportunity, but folks still have to be competitive. So any recommendations of what aspects or characteristics on that application should be emphasized mm. for folks looking to no, get it's the not upper actually, hand? It's not even competitive at okay. all, to be quite honest. You know, our goal is to one day give jobs to any young person who wants one. What do you mean it's not going to be? Is it first come, first serve? Right. No, well, the lottery process, of oh, course, is okay. neutral. Right. Okay, but those who are involved in our special initiative, we try to make sure that everyone gets jobs. Okay. Gotcha. What is the trajectory once you get a spot to upward mobility, to perhaps advancing that position into an, a full fledged career, yeah. possibly? Absolutely. That's why we have our career ready. Mm -hmm. It's all about career exploration, right? right? If you're working with a media company, we're hoping that that company will invest in that young person mm -hmm. yeah. and guide them through and stay in contact with Absolutely. them. Absolutely. And is this part of the mayor's plan really too to tackle some of the, I guess, the violence that we're seeing on the streets too and get kids out of the streets and into jobs to keep them busy? Well, you know, it, there's a 2021 study that shows that if you have young people participate in the summer, mm -hmm then there's a de uh, decrease in the amount of rest. Mm -hmm. I believe it's 17% mm. and then 23% for felonies. Wow. Yeah. All right, Im important work you're doing. Absolutely. Uh, Keith, appreciate you being here. Commissioner of Youth and Community Development. Good to have you here in person. Thank you, thank, thank you. you. Yeah. Thank you for and having me. Thanks for waking up after a big game. <laughs> it's early morning. Absolutely. <laughs> Uh, here's the Summer Youth Employment Program website right there on your screen. Everybody goes live at 10 a.m. this morning. And in case you or someone you know would like to apply for a summer job through the city, uh, the deadline, by the way, is March 31st. So Thank important information go. right there. Thank you, Mr. Howard. Thank you. Thank you.